to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Welcome back, Wi-Fi, to yet another underground. <laughs> Under renovation episode of The Wireless Woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And click the bell for notifications of when I go live. And when I upload new content. So I promised y'all this dating series. It's been hard to get to it. Because I'm actually doing the dating. The working. The schooling. The momming. And this is going to make us all sad. We're all going to be very saddened. By this news. But. Despite my commitment. Despite my commitment to bringing you. <laughs> What you need from me in mating season, the spring dating season, I have had to shut it down. I just put my sign up, turn it around, closed, gone fishing. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. I tried. Lord knows I did. But... So I'm just going to bring you what you missed, <laughs> which is a little bit of content around the dating that I did do. I did everything that I'm going to tell you guys to do. And I did have great success with it. It's just that you got to do a cost-based analysis and the cost of dating for me outweigh the benefits of it. I know that there are men who feel like dating is so expensive for them because it does require their time as well and their monetary investment at a greater level than women's. But women who bring value, who add value, who can add value to a man's life, much like the Bible says, are priceless. They're like rubies. They're like pearls. And I know we as women don't get treated with that type of value a lot. And because of the market value of us as a group of women, it can be very difficult to wrestle your worth out of people who can go and get what they feel like you bring to the table on discount. Okay. But I'll give you an example of what it is that I'm talking about. So I went out on a date with a very awesome, very wonderful guy. Very nice. Very what I like, very what I'm on. Okay. I, you know, nothing's perfect. No one's perfect. I'm not out here looking for perfection because, but I, I saw some potential here, you know, great date. Um, as time went past, though, I wasn't really seeing the return on the investment that I was willing to bring to the table and put in. And so, you know, I was having a conversation with some of my girlfriends because in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. I know men be like, don't be telling your friends all our business because they go. But you really need to check yourself sometimes with the type of women that have the relationships you want and that you trust. And I have those women around me. I have women who I regard and respect for the way that they minister their relationship with their men. OK, so I ain't getting chicken head advice. But, you know, I was running over the situation and doing a goal space analysis of the situation with another woman. And she was like, well, you know, I wouldn't necessarily call it just yet. And it's like, well, you know, he took you out. Da, 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 da. I said, let me explain something. During the date, he asked me a question about, you know, building your credit, you know, wanting to buy a home. And I asked him real questions because this is what I do. Okay. What's your time horizon? You know, what's your DTI looking like? What type of budget do you want to have? And I mean, without knowing everything, I ain't asked the man to pull out his, you know, <laughs> his uh, credit report or anything. 
probably should have. But I didn't. I gave him some pretty solid advice about how to approach, you know, the home buying process and setting some financial goals. So when I talked to my girlfriend, I told her, I said, listen, my time on the top end for that type of advice can go anywhere from ninety six to one hundred and twenty dollars an hour. He got his money back. (laughs) He got his money back out of one date with me. Now, not everyone is quantifying who they are and what they bring to a relationship. Baby, I know. Because I have billable hours, almost like a doctor or a lawyer. Nobody is going to ever get me out on a date with them. And not at least feel like there was enough worth and value in me showing up for them to show up as well. So I know we're in a position where we have been asked in a lot of ways professionally to compete with men, but we as women can't allow that competitive match my energy. Show me what you're working with. Shake your face. Show me what you're working with. Shake. Type of energy to be the basis. I mean, the foundation of relationships, even for the amount of money that I make for what it is I do. I'm still only making 82 63. I'm still only making 63 cents on the dollar to what someone else would pay a white man <laughs> for that same advice. So I'm already discounted. I'm not paying for any dates. I'm not buying any drinks. I'm not even going to bring nothing to the table, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Um, except myself. That's it. That's all we getting at the table. It's me, my time, my energy, my focus. My phone is down. I'm not taking pictures of the food like you're not there. I'm going to respect you and honor your time and the commitment that it takes for you to show up for me. And that's it, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So I do want to talk today in this (laughs) dating series about two things. You know, I try to keep it short, even though my podcast is starting to get long again. Try to keep it short, but I want to talk about the warnings of a new little phenomenon that I'm seeing come across the dating apps. And the great part about dating apps is it gives you the opportunity to get like a little blurb about guys. It's almost as if a guy is walking up to you wearing a sign. Ooh, baby, that is great. Some of them are honest in their um, profile description bio. That's what they call it, bio. And that's great. Saves you some time. You know, um, I put in mind that my favorite quality in a person is self-awareness. So some people are not self-aware enough, to be honest with you. They're just not. They haven't achieved the honesty and truth within themselves. So sharing it is impossible, okay? And you can't fault them for that. But you ain't got to play with them. Play with your mama, not me. So I do want you to take a look at some of these profiles that I've been coming across and let's talk about them. Life's complicated, simple and short. And we could get ice cream and fries. Let's spend time together, go bowling, make art, throw axes, no hookups. Serious about fries and friendships. You plus me equals fun. Take a chance on fun. Let's get tacos too. Ethically non-monogamous. Probably should have lived with that. So there's this phenomenon in these dating apps called ENM, ethically non-monogamous. I had never heard of it. <laughs> it's kind of feeling like the <laughs> IA plus part of the LGBTQ community. It's like, mm, are we just going to keep adding stuff? Just say you polygamous. Just, just say that you polyamorous. Because we understand these terms, but no, they've got new ones. Hey, so I am a swinger, ethically non-monogamous, but single as fuck right now. That's it. That's what it says about me. E-N-M. Only looking for myself. Definitely not unicorn hunting. And not looking to take a ride on any relationship escalators. I didn't know what a unicorn was 
um, I was seeing a lot of dating app profiles that had the man and the woman on it. And they were saying, looking for a unicorn. And I like all of these that I'm reading off to you were people that swiped on me. First. Just want y'all to be aware of that because clearly when I saw this, it was a no for me. But I got a lot of unicorn hunters. And I didn't know what a unicorn was. And I just want to say to my Facebook friends who I asked a year ago and they all act like they didn't know. I don't appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. I didn't know I gave off that type of energy. This has been the first time that I've actually considered <laughs> letting my locks off. Because if my locks are giving me Tracy Chapman, like bisexuals, I can do you and your wife vibes. I mean, I am very strong and athletic, but, but yeah, I, I've been having that come across a lot and I've never <laughs> had an interest in a woman at all. Never had any experiences. And I said that on this channel one time, cause, cause I know girls supposed to like girls too, but, hey, girls want girls where I'm from, hey, girl, yeah. but not this girl. So here's another one. No drama. If you are not right about who you are, don't write me up. I don't know. If you need somebody to make you happy, find a doctor first to take care of you. Then you're going to be able to be happy with someone. Very profound life advice. My wife and I love to be with another woman, not a girl. For all the women that are out here in the dating field looking to get married, what is the point? What is what is the point if you still got to share this dude? With, okay, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. All right, so let's do another one. Newly single, newly relocated, alpha male with no kids. Not looking for traditional dating, but also not looking for a one night stand. I'd like to find someone consistent to explore a mutually beneficial relationship, a woman who'd enjoy tying up and using a man for her pleasure. However, yeah, these are the people that swiped on me. Easy going, open guy, married. In an open relationship, looking for like-minded people, for friendship and life. I'm not going to read this. I'm going to put it on the screen, though. All right, this guy swiped on me. No kids, only child. 100% STD free. Get tested. Yes, get tested. Looking for Indian or Asian women. No FWB, ONS, etc. Didn't even bother to put black women in there before he swiped on a black woman. RN, Army Nurse, Girl Dad of Three. Positively ambitious, goal-oriented, hard worker, passionate, nesting, partnered, short-term goal within the next two to three years to complete a specialty MP, nurse practitioner, 2024. Seeking friendship for the moment, casual playmate, see it grows to, it's a pineapple, I don't, I don't, E N M. Molly Amorous, Pinkster, that pineapple again, I don't, if you know what the pineapple is, can you put it in the comments for me? I, I know what eggplant is, I don't know, uh, DS, Dom Submissive, if you know, you know, so, it's weird that I give unicorn energy and that someone who's looking for a submissive would also swipe on me, I guess. The luck of the draw, maybe. I don't know. But on a side note, I have had, I, don't, I mean, this whole dominant submissive thing, I don't know about it. But 
I've had lots of men who are doms, I guess, say, you know, like, you're such an amazing woman. I wish I could pursue a relationship with you, but, you know, I prefer a submissive. This is getting real weird, y'all. If these men are ordering up a woman like they are on a DoorDash app or something, and it's it's really um it's it's really weird the types of things that they're willing to put out about themselves in order to hmm, perfect first date immediate chemistry the sort that's almost like electric current for a third date let's go to Mexico or Colombia I'm familiar with both my blow C. Third date. Leave the country with someone you met on a dating. Two truths and a lie. I, okay. One, have been home almost a year from the five-year Department of Corrections of a 10-year sentence suspended to a split 10 years, five DOC probation, five. Two, I was adopted. No lies. So you got two truths there and and no lie. You know, it's tough reading this out on a public profile, but I mean, they put this information out. They they were willing to meet you and this be the information that they were going to give you. Pizza. Okay, perfect first date. Pizza, beer, no bullshit, uncomfortable conversation topics. I may never reveal my favorite color to you. 37, never married, self-employed, zero room for games, religion must align with my own, not interested in hookups or meeting your kids for a long time. I mean, this is this is really, these are profiles, they I have experience in dominating, but only if that's your thing. No more, just ask me. E-N-M, solo Ollie, have a life partner, introverted by nature, and believe in honesty above all. I'm horrible at these things. So, yeah. This was the pool, y'all. This was the pool I was swimming in. And so I hope that my sudden and early departure is not a great disappointment to us all. But there has to be a better, more organic way to meet the type of people who can meet you where you are. Um, but, but this ain't it. I got some story times that are going to be coming to actually talk y'all through the actual dates that I went on, some date reviews. Y'all weren't there, so you didn't get to see them. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to trust my review and my assessment of what was going on, but because dating is disgusting out here right now. I think that sitting inside the house, ordering your food on your phone, that people thinking that dating apps are like food apps. Like, I don't even think they expect to meet a person. They got to be expecting to meet an avatar because who hears this stuff? And it's like, it's me. That's me. I mean, he just described me. I have waited all my life for someone who was ethically non-monogamous and has a wife and his partner but not looking for any games but not willing to talk about any challenging conversational topics but also just wants to have a one-night stand but doesn't want a one-night stand but does want a hookup that ain't a hookup oh my goodness you could almost like you could almost split off into multiple personality disorder trying to keep up but whatever the hell is going on in this dating scene so Listen, I would love to hear any of your experiences that you have been having because I know I can't be by myself. (laughs) I know I can't be dancing all by myself with this one. (laughs) Go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments. If you see what I see and you feel as I feel. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek. 
make sure you let it be known down there. I look forward to engaging with you there. But until the next underground transmission of the wireless woman, I will see you. Black out for me. No. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. No, we don't negotiate with terrorists.